A comment made by former President Trump on a radio show Monday is making headlines. Left-leaning news outlets are reporting Trump suggests immigrants have bad genes in latest disparagement of migrants. Trump on immigrants, we got a lot of bad genes in our country right now. Donald Trump says there are a lot of bad genes among migrants in the U.S. Donald Trump goes off the rails with claim that some races have murder gene. These news articles are referring to comments made in a half-hour interview Trump gave with Hugh Hewitt, a conservative radio talk show host. Trump mentions migrants with bad genes. In a portion of the interview where Trump is specifically talking about migrants who have been convicted of murder. How about allowing people to come through an open border, 13,000 of which were murderers, many of them murdered far more than one person, and they're now happily living in the United States. You know, now a murderer, I believe this, it's in their genes, and we got a lot of bad genes in our country right now. They left, they had 425,000 people come into our country that shouldn't be here, that are criminals. Trump's comments are referring to an ICE report recently released showing 435,000 migrants with criminal convictions have been released by the agency. Of them, 13,000 had murder convictions. The data release covers four decades of migrant releases, according to DHS, and includes numbers all the way up to July 21st of this year. It is unclear how many of the migrants with criminal offenses entered and were released during the Biden administration. This story is one largely being picked up by media with a left-leaning bias. Right-leaning outlets like Fox News and the New York Post did not have write-ups on Trump's comments as of Monday afternoon. Politico included a statement from a Trump campaign spokesperson in their news article saying Trump's bad genes comment was referring to murderers, not migrants. Hey, thanks for watching our news update. We strive to deliver the facts when a topic is only being covered by left or right leaning media outlets, which can be a sign of media bias in the form of oversaturation or omission. Be sure to download the Straight Arrow News mobile app or find us online at san.com for more media miss content that matters to you. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Kara Rucker.